everyone. Welcome to Magnet Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to discuss loss of exponent, power of a product rule. Power of a product rule is a combination of both power rule and product rule. So, dito nadagdagan lang siya ng uh, multiplication. Para lang siyang power rule wherein we are just going to distribute the exponent raised to the exponent. So, it's a group of expression or a group of um, variables na ang operation nila is multiplication and it is raised to an exponent. So, to simplify that, we just have to distribute the exponent to each variable. So, I'm going to show you an example on how to simplify using power of a product rule. Okay? For example, we have x raised to 3 y raised to 2, and they are all raised to 5. Now, in this case, the operation between x and y is multiplication. So, dito, kaya siya tinawag na power of a product, okay, this pro the product of this two variable is raised to another exponent. To simplify this, we can use power of a product. So, multiplication. Kung addition yan, hindi pwede. Okay, so what do we do to simplify? So, in simplifying this, all we need to do is for us to distribute the exponent 5 to each of the exponent using power rule. So, multiply lang natin yung exponent ni 5 sa lahat. So, we will still copy the basis present. We have x and y. So, since we distribute 5 to each exponent, we will multiply them. So, we have 5 times 3 and 5 times 2. Then, we can now simplify. We have x raised to 15 and y raised to 10. And this will now be your final answer. Example. For example, we are going to have a raised to 3 b raised to 4, c raised to 2, and they are all raised to 6. How do we simplify that? So, first thing that we need to do is to apply power of a product rule. Take note, the operation of each variable inside the grouping must be multiplication para ma-apply itong law na to or rule na to. So, we are going to distribute the exponent 6 to each of the present exponent in our group so we have so now our next step is for us to multiply our exponent so distribute nga diba so we have a raised to 3 times 6 b raised to 4 times 6 and c raised to 2 times 6 Again, their positioning is not important as long as you multiply the exponent 6 to all the exponent present in the group. Okay? So, in this case, we can now simplify. So, we have A raised to 18, B raised to 24, and C raised to 12. And this will be your final answer. I have an example. For example, we have 2 A raised to 4 B raised to 3 and C and they are all raised to an exponent of 4. Now, in this case, since 2 is part of our group, okay, meron din siyang exponent. Okay? Kasama siya. So, the hidden exponent of 2 is 1 and the hidden exponent of C, kung wala, since wala tayong nakikita dyan, is also 1. So, when we apply power of a product rule, 2 is also included when we distribute 4, and C is also included. So, ganun lang din yon. All we need to do is to distribute 4 and multiply it to each exponent present inside the group. Okay? So, First, we copy the basis. We have 2, A, B, and C. Now, we can now multiply our exponents. Okay, so we have 
1 times 4 for 2, 4 times 4 for A, and we have 3 times 4 kay B, and 1 times 4 kay C. And now let's simplify. We have our final answer, which is 2 raised to 4, A raised to 16, B raised to 12, and C raised to 4. And that's your final answer. Pag na-encounter nyo yan, okay, question, can you apply power of a product rule here? The answer is no, you can't. Why? Because when you say power of a product rule, the operation between the two variables present in that given group that is raised to an exponent must be multiplication. So ito, yung addition symbol, hindi siya multiplication. Therefore, we cannot use power of a product rule. So take note, hindi natin pwedeng i-distribute to. Okay, this is not equal to x squared plus y squared. Again, not equal. Yan. Please take note, you cannot apply power of a product rule the, because the operation of these two variable is addition and not multiplication. To apply power of a product rule, dapat multiplication yung operation between two variables. Okay. If you know how to simplify using the power of a product rule, it's your turn to simplify this. Ayan. Practice exercise. Simplify the following using the laws of exponent. Please do practice and if you need more time to answer, please pause the video and resume if you're done completing this five items. Now, kung tapos na kayo, here are the answers for your practice exercise. Yan. Please double check and kung nakuha nyo ng tamang sagot, congratulations. Ayan, so na, kung na master nyo na, very good. So again, simple reminder or um, yeah, few reminders. When you are dealing with simplifying power of a product rule, take note the operation of the given group must be multiplication. At kung addition or subtraction siya, you cannot apply power of a product rule. So please take note of that one. Okay, that's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.